All right, so this week's chapter of One Piece was really hard to watch. Not because it was bad, but because they were just constantly attacking Rosinante and Law and punishing them. And it was just, ah, I kept screaming, stop, stop, please. They've come through enough. Can you just give them a break? I mean, I know Rosinante's going to die. That's That much is clear. But... I mean, do we need to keep pounding on him before that happens? It's like, oh, uh, no. But either way, you know, somehow Rosanante gets uh, back to law with the op-op fruit. You know, of course, he gets shot a couple times doing so, however. Um, but, you know, he just stuffs the whole damn thing down law's throat. like, eat it, eat it, go on, swallow it. And that sounds kind of bad without images, but still, and that's what he does. And of course, you know, now, La now has the ability, but he's not able to use it because he doesn't know exactly how it works. He doesn't know he has to say room or think of a room before he can start doing stuff. So, of course, when he's trying to save uh, Rosinante, all he can keep saying is, heal, heal, heal. It's like, it's not magic. You can't just say the word and it'll happen. It's, a, it's an ability that takes time to master and even just learn. So, of course, you know, that doesn't work. But Rosanante just tells him, like, look, there's a Navy scout ship somewhere around here. Take this message to them. It'll save a, a, a local island called Dress Rosa. And I'm thinking, um, clearly it was not saved because Don Flamingo still takes it over. So, I mean, what happens to the message? And Law finds this Navy people just walking by. And uh, he just gives it to him and it turns out to be Virgo. As soon as I see his face, I just screamed like, no, no, poor Dressrosa, poor Rosinante, poor Law, just no, oh, damn it, so close. I mean, if they, if he had gotten that letter to any other Marine, any other Marine, Dressrosa would have been saved, Rosinante might have been saved, Law could have been saved, and I don't know, maybe uh, Law could have still been a pirate, but you know, no reason to go after Don Flamingo because Rosinante's still alive, still working under the you know, Navy. But either way, it's just like, ah, especially when he, you know, Virgo takes Law back to Rosinante and, Law, and Virgo just reads the letter right in front of Rosinante. It's just like, aha. Uh -huh. Just starts pounding on Rosanante into the wall and just making him bleed and kicking him and using hockey to just punch him in the gut and break his bones, I suspect. It's just, oh no, ooh, ah, damn, stop it, please, please, just stop. But either way, of course, you know, while Virgo's calling Don Flamingo and telling him about this, Don Flamingo's already on the island killing a bunch of the Navy's uh, people that were there. And of course, with his whole crew, and while they're talking on those, you know, Denden Mushi, Rosanante picks up Law and just get the hell out of there. And, um, and of course, you know, Don Flamingo doesn't want them to escape, you know. Uh, so he creates the birdcage like he does on Dress Rosa. So Rosanante realizes it's like, well, shit, you know, uh, we can't escape anymore. But I will find a way to get Law to safety. That is a promise on my life. And... You know, he picks up Law and just says, If I'm going to die either way, saving this child, I'm going to die smiling. So that way Law's last memory of me is a happy memory. You know, it's like, this is not a sad event. And usually, you know, the mentors of One Piece do the same thing. You know, I'm going to die smiling. And it's a very, you know, admirable thing. It's, it's one of the hardest things you can do. When you're going to die, you know you're going to die. But you still got to, you know, force yourself to smile throughout the whole thing for someone else that you care about. I mean, you can say, like, oh, that's easy. Like, just die with a smile on your face. Like, no, because death itself is scary. It's very difficult for anyone to encounter death and still be able to smile in the face of it. Uh, but I will say that Rosanante's smiling face is kind of creepy. And it just makes me realize, like... Yeah, he never looked right while he was happy or smiling or laughing. So it's like, especially when his face has his eyes going up, it makes me feel kind of awkward. Uh, I was gonna originally use his face as a thumbnail, but then I thought if I thought it was creepy, no way I'm gonna put any of you through that. But 
Uh, I'm gonna, let me see if I can try to recreate his face. It's like, it's like no, don't stop, stop doing that. But either way, it's creepy like that. Um, I will say one thing that did kind of uh, confuse me was when Virgo was beating on Rosanante. He was saying, I never really trusted uh, you. you. You disappear for eight years, or you know, you disappear uh, at the age of eight. Uh, so, and then you come back 14 years later claiming to be Don Flamingo's brother. And that's the only reason you were let back into the family so you know, easily and even given a position of power. So it makes me wonder, why did he mention claiming? Like, you can say Virgo still doesn't believe that this is Don Flamingo's brother, or you can pretty much say that Rosinante uh, was never his brother. But then again, who knows? I mean, they could just have the same name as Don Flamingo's brother, or they could just he could have changed his name to Rosinante when he became a Marine who was, you know, issued the order to infiltrate the Don Flamingo family. Uh, Although I will say he does look a lot like how Rosanante would look as older. So maybe I'm just looking too much into it. Maybe he is Don Flamingo's brother. You know, it's just Virgo being suspicious of this guy. It's like, I don't believe that you're Don Flamingo's brother. You would be loyal to him all the way through. Uh, but either way, uh, tell me what you think. Like, is he Ro is Rosanante this Rosanante Don Flamingo's brother? Or it was just... just, just of a ruse to get into his good graces or is Virgo just being paranoid and saying you're claiming to be his brother but I don't believe you, you I'm gonna kill you right now uh, but either way this chapter was like I said hard to watch if you love Rosanante which I'm sure many people do and Law this is hard to watch because they're constantly being punished over and over and just wants you just want them to have a break for once you want them to succeed and we kind of we already know they're gonna succeed, but come on, can you just give us some happy moments? Come, on. Uh, but either way, great chapter, loved it, can't wait uh, for its conclusion. Hopefully, maybe there'll be next chapter. That's what it seems like. You know, Rosanante is ready to die, but he's gonna die smiling. Good for you, man. Um, but either way. Great chapter, loved it, can't wait for the next one. Till then, I'm Tony Dragon, bye bye.